So you've entered, open the door, and the sweet nothingness, embracing you, ready to caress you in a sense, ready for the brain massage of a lifetime. I'm not talking about head, but I am. If you get what I mean there. <laughs> but the void is slippery slope. How does one truly leave? You might be asking yourself right there. Finding yourself at the end of a loop. Bars, by the way. But where are you right now? The fucking 10 out of 10, you can't figure out what to do. You look up, up on YouTube, how to get that out of the void, man. You find this fucking video. Well, welcome to the right place, man. All you need is a nice big glass of chocolate milk. If you're lactose and you're tolerant, go fuck yourself. I don't know, you're weak. Sorry. The fucking. Whatever higher power is out there made you that way for a reason. So, yeah, you can click off if you're lactose intolerant now. Alright, since all the pussies are out, get yourself a big old glass of chocolate milk and stir it with a knife because spoons aren't long enough for the gl- kind of glasses I'm talking about. Then, yourself a little fucking peanut butter jelly then grab a fruit of some type kind just munch on it just munch 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 then put your mind to something may it be smoke a <laughs> Which might not be the greatest idea if you're in the void. Or could be fucking turning on a basketball game. Which reminds me of fucking hockey games on right now. I totally forgot. But back to it. Or just jack on it. Jacking on it usually helps. One time I was in the void jacking off. Thinking about how weird porn really is, man. You know, some people are just out there, fucking, and everyone's seen them fuck, how vulnerable do you feel when you're fucking, you know, completely naked, afraid, insecure perhaps, don't become a giga chat, bro, weird story just popped up in my head, and I'm gonna say it, just because it's it's kind of running around my mind right now. I just keep thinking about it. When I was in 7th grade, maybe 6, 12 or 13, I was playing soccer. My dad was the coach. And there was this like, short kid with a really flat face. And he told me it's because before he moved to California, he get his ass kicked every day. They punched him so many times in the face, his face went flat. That scarred me when he told me that. I actually believed him. But no, that guy was just trying to compensate for having a flat ass face. <laughs> and then, when we were having a soccer practice one time, he pissed me off. Don't know how. But I gave his soccer ball a nuclear punt all the way across the field. I told him to go fuck himself. And my dad got really angry at me. Told me, yeah, you're gonna have to go grab that ball for him. Yeah. Weird story, right? It's been running around my mind through all day. 